Hey guys! <laughs> Welcome back to Life Above the Clouds. My name is Lauren Gaw, and this chick over here is my friend Leah. Hi! And her birthday is on the 19th. It is! But we're not thinking about the 19th today. Well, you should have said something. We could have made something for your birthday. No! This is about St. Patty's Day. Okay, this is about St. Patty's Day, which is on <laughs> Tuesday the 17th, and we're gonna make some cupcakes with Bailey's Irish cream because what else is Irish? Yeah. That's and Guinness, but Bailey's and way Guinness. better. Way yeah, better. those were the two ideas. Bailey's or Guinness, but yeah, yeah Bailey's, Bailey's is way the way better. to go. Uh, this is the first time that I'd ever bought Bailey's. Oh really? At the store. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I've had it like at a restaurant once. I ordered like Bailey's and coffee yes. after dinner because I was so cool. Yes. I was in college and I thought I was being yeah. super cool. Yeah, uh, as you should. <laughs> yeah, right. I, uh, I, I've had Bailey's, but once the problem is once you have like a Bailey's and then yeah. you realize how delicious of a dessert it actually is. Like by itself, you just by itself. By Bailey's. Oh. Then you like end up buying a bottle and then you're like, it'll be my dessert for the night, and then it becomes alcoholism. So. Well, we have a whole bottle. <laughs> If we're quarantined, uh, we've got some stuff to drink. Some creamy liquor. Some creamy liquor. Mm. Liquor. <laughs> um, yeah. Great. Great. So we're making cupcakes. So we're making cupcakes. Let's begin. Yeah. Well, we're going to start by whisking together our dry ingredients. And over here, I got... I have to have all my stuff written down yeah. because I can't remember. No worries. This is two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And then I also have three quarters cups of cocoa powder because these are going to be chocolatey. Oh, yum. Because, of I course, know. I thought about also adding chocolate chips, but okay. we're going to see where we're at. Um, Mike Finney says, cannabis is green, so counts as Irish. Ah, there you go. Yes, I love it. And then we also have three teaspoons of baking powder. Three teaspoons. Okay. Yeah. Baking soda. She already powder. had Bailey's. I know. The weed, the Baileys, we're all excited. Uh, this is three teaspoons of baking powder and uh, one teaspoon of salt. Oh, nice. You put them together. Yeah, just because I have these, I these like cute these little measuring so cups They're so that cute. my mom sent me. Oh, really? Yeah. They're very cute. <laughs> Can you whisk this together yes. for us, please? I know how to. Check that out. Look, now oh. they can see it. Whisking. Whisking. You can see the whisking. Now, do you have a um, preferred method of said whisking? Do you um, like the overhand? Do you like the underhand? Oh, interesting. Do you not I worry about I it too don't much? Don't worry about it too Wait, much. Wait, I'll let it go. What's What's the way that a pro holds their whisk? Who knows? This feels wrong. This feels like this aggressive. This does feel wrong. This feels I feel like, I did yeah. it and then I quickly went that back. That feels very like, much more proper. I feel like it's, it needs to be yeah. just like light. Guys, how do you like her whisking technique? Light aromatic. It's beautiful. Oh. Should I pull, I'll pull the camera oh. up a little bit. So beautiful. It smells nice and chocolatey. I do love the smell of chocolate. Which does does help. Because you know, sometimes with... Um, view. We'll zoom in on that Look whisking that. section. Oh. Okay. Uh, sometimes that baking soda, you know, takes over in the, uh, the smell, smell department. Of baking soda? What does baking soda smell like? I don't know. My boyfriend loves baking soda, so it's like... Wait, your boyfriend loves baking soda? He loves baking soda. He uses it. To, it's like a cure-all for him. Oh, yes. I thought you meant, like, eating it. I mean, he'll put it in his mouth as, like, a, um, bacterial, because it kills bacteria. It's a thing. Johnny, why do you do that? It's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. I mean, I guess I've heard of people brushing their teeth. Yeah, he'll like soda. brush his teeth. He'll and like... I know it's really good for cleaning. Yeah. Oh, they, he didn't see that. Oh, yeah. Johnny, why do you do that with baking soda? He swears by that it. Whole he swears by it. That's a little bit weird. Uh, but okay. okay. So is this This is beautifully oh, whisked. Okay. This is beautifully whisked. We're going to set this aside. Okay, wonderful. And now we are going to oh. use this hand mixer. Okay. Are you excited? I'm very you, excited. Do you I, want to do the hand mixing? I don't know the last time I have uh, used one of said. I, I have never used oh, one. Oh snap! <laughs> it's also Friday the thirteenth. It's on. Too, so. It is. Oh my There's gosh! Happy of, Friday the thirteenth. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, bad things that can happen. But, Are you superstitious? I, I, I'm not. I'm really luckily. not that superstitious either. Yeah. I hate uh, enjoying Friday the thirteenth. Uh, it's just another day. Yeah. But we're going to combine. Our granulated sugar, we have one and a half cups of sugar. Damn. I know, that's a lot of sugar, right? Look at that. <laughs> yeah, guys, look at that beautiful sugar. Now, how many cupcakes will this? Two dozen. It should two be dozen. two dozen. And we also have butter. This is half a cup total of butter. I also added 
two tablespoons of cannabis butter in here. Uh, you can smell it. Oh yeah, you can smell it. I like, like I like making them a little bit mild, you know. You guys know that. I like usually using one tablespoon of cannabis butter per twelve servings. So does Which, that kind of prevent it from over uh, like overpowering it taste? It does of keep the flavor to a minimum. Sometimes you can still smell it, but usually the taste isn't overpowering. Okay. Because yeah. you hate when you taste something it just tastes bad. Yeah. And I mean, I think the idea here for these is not to get totally blitzed. It's just to have a nice, yeah. um, medicated, elevated feeling. Yeah. And who wants to eat one cupcake? Duh. That's pretty much why. Yeah, that's that's it. basically it. <laughs> so we're going to add our butter. This is melted and I mixed the butters together because it's a really good way to mix the two butters. So that way you make sure that they're well mixed. You don't want them to be not well mixed and then one of your cupcakes is going to be way stronger than one of the other ones. Sure. Yeah. It's a fun prank but not always the best intention. <laughs> it's like, who's going to get the strong <laughs> one? Where do you buy uh, your cannabis butter? Is it something I that... make my cannabis butter actually and uh, we grew six plants, which okay. is the amount that you can grow yourself. Um, and I uh, saved all of the trim, which is like the leaves and the stems sure. and everything that you didn't want to smoke or didn't want to give away to friends. And that is what I make my butter out of. I actually still have a lot of that stuff. Okay. I saw yeah. you the other day making the sugar, which I thought was really cool. Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah. I still have some sugar left if you okay. want to try some of it. Um, that was a cool one. Yeah. Everclear, though, is not fun to work with. Really? Yeah, just like leaning over it and like smelling it was going to singe my oh, nose okay. hairs. It smells yeah. terrible. Well, it's thank awful. you for making it on our behalf. <gasps> You're so welcome. <laughs> So we have our butter and our sugar. Leah, okay. would you mind mix, starting to mix those yes. together? Do you have a speed if you like? Just one is good. Great. You can start it out uh, with a nice it, solid one. This is something I don't know. Is it best to start it then put it in or put it in and then start it? Um, I don't think it I matters. think you can put it in and then start it, but okay. definitely don't pull it out while they're still going. Okay. I've seen a lot of movies where stuff goes wrong. Oh. Okay. All right. So we are going to mix together our butter and sugar until it's until it's pretty nicely combined. And then I also have two eggs and then I have half a cup of applesauce. We're using applesauce because it's healthier than using a lot of oil and it's also a little bit sweet and nice and moist. Mm -hmm. Makes our cupcakes up moist. Moist, moist. Men's favorite word. Moist. <laughs> so while she's gonna continue mixing and I'm gonna add in our applesauce. Do you use, um, you know, different applesauces you can buy, like the organic, or you can buy, like, the sugar-free? This you can is buy unsweetened applesauce. I don't remember if it's organic or not. Yeah. And then I'm going to add our eggs. We'll, we'll crack of an egg one at a time. I have tried doing the one-handed egg oh. thing, but it doesn't quite work for me. I think my hands are too small. Too small. Mm -hmm. it, is a, it is a little challenging to do that. Yeah, right? But that's like the mark of a true professional. That's the mark? Is it? I they need know. a higher mark. They need a higher mark. You can crack one egg, but your food still might taste like crap. Mm. So it smells oh. nice. Now we have one half cup of Bailey's Irish Cream. Yeah. Are there other brands of Irish Cream? There are. There's like, like knockoff ones? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's generic brands, and then Bailey's also gets all little, they get a little crazy, and they have different flavors of their Irish Whoa. Cream. Whoa! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But there are definitely um, generic yeah. brands of the Irish Cream, because in theory it's not, it's just a liqueur itself, so right. anyone could really make it. But yeah. Bailey's is kind of the flagship brand. All right, good for them. Go Bailey's. Bailey's I'm stuff. Gonna, I'm going to add our Bailey's yeah. in here. Let's get it in there. Oh, yeah. It does really smell nice. It smells very good. How oh, fun. I've never... I like that. I would never think to cook with Bailey's, but now that I think about it, it makes a lot of sense. Why not? Why not? Hopefully these, these cupcakes turn out okay. Sometimes I like to, like, try the recipes ahead of time, mm -hmm. you know, to make sure that they're okay, but this one I, I, did, not, I did not do. Fun. Yeah, right? We're try it together. Yeah, we're going to try it together. I mean, what could go wrong? It's sugar and butter and flour. Right. Right? Eggs, applesauce. Apple applesauce. Apple okay, we also have 
Oh, this, this is two teaspoons of vanilla extract. mixing, I'm going to start gradually adding in our dry ingredients. Well, teamwork right here. Yes. So you just kind of slowly add that in. Yeah, it's in e it mixes more evenly if you add it gradually. Mmm. Yeah, it's really chocolatey. Yeah, it smells good. good. What was the chocolate? Just powder? cocoa powder. powder? Yeah, okay. three quarters cup of cocoa powder. And sometimes isn't it true with cocoa powder that it doesn't always taste like the chocolate that we're used to? It tastes a yeah, little... Yeah, well, it's totally unsweetened. Right. And it's just the, the dry powder. So that's what so will help with the sugar and the yeah. applesauce. Yeah. You're so good at mixing. You oh. totally underrated yourself. Guys, I mean, it <laughs> could only go so wrong. I just got to remember to pull it out with the... Right? It's still going. Long things will go everywhere. I am getting that, like, flour cocoa powder. I know, it's like, hmm. Yeah, there's worse feelings. No, I'm also going to go get hot water to pour in here. <laughs> like, totally. <laughs> I, do, I don't think I have coronavirus, but I did just contaminate all That's of That's all good. We'll take it. Um, I'm going to get some hot water from our my electric kettle, and then I'm going to add it to this batter. Wonderful. Okay, guys, while well, Lauren's gone, <laughs> I'm going to eat all the dough. Yay! We're never going to make it. This is so cool. I don't remember the last time I baked that wasn't like from a bag. Yeah? Yeah, I make like, you know, some killer Mrs. Really Field enjoy... cookies, but... Oh yeah. I really enjoy baking, obviously. Um, and I think that it's really fun to do it with somebody. That's why yeah. I like this kind of new format I have been doing with a friend and doing the live stream. And then people, Mike Finney says, I usually crack the eggs into a small bowl first to make sure I don't get eggshells in the main mix. Very That's a smart. Very, very good idea. Um, but yeah, I love that like Mike Finney and other viewers can tune in and, and live by interact with, with us. us. Eating yeah, right? desserts too, which is fun. Oh, see, with the hot water in there, that chocolate really it's like activates. Ooh. Uh, it looks it almost like a so brownie good. mix. Yeah, right? We have half a cup of water. I'm just adding it gradually as Leah's mixing, you know? <laughs> You're doing all the heavy lifting. No, this is perfect. <laughs> it's fun to see it evolve. Just go for it. And then we have our batter ready to go. And while you finish mixing that in, mm -hmm. I already have... Look at my cute little... Oh, those are so cute! Right? Uh, so guys, look at my look at my cute little St. Patrick's Day. I also grabbed these other green striped ones that I have, but we have St. Patrick's Day cupcake liners to go with our St. Patrick's themed cupcakes. Amazing. And it's like if people, you know, if they don't want to get in the mood to celebrate, they're just green. Yeah, right? So and calm then down, people. I'm gonna show you how we yeah. exit. How we exit? How do we? Yes. If you just slowly pull it up, then the batter will. Oh wow! Kind of That's so cool. down to the bottom. That's so cool. And then we're all set. And then I am. I'm gonna use my spatula to to uh, scrape the sides. Okay. I was like, what am I saying? Sure. Yeah. I don't even know. Just to make oh, sure like so the bottoms sweet. get. Oh yeah, Derek's sister got me that for Sweet. Christmas. Life above the clouds. That's so yeah. nice. Yeah, I also have an apron that says "Life above the clouds." Would you like to wear it? That's so nice. Yes. Would you really? I almost brought my apron. I actually have it in my car, and I forgot to bring oh it. Oh my in. god, that's so funny. I have this apron that has like uh, forks and knives and spoons on it. Oh, that ends really cute. And then I used it. Here's for... our beautifully Ooh. finished batter. It looks so nice. And then I actually, I have a cupcake scoop that I like to use, so all my cupcakes are gonna be the same size. So I'm gonna grab that. Okay. You can describe your apron. Okay, and yeah, so here's the apron. It's actually very Friday the 13th themed. It has forks, knives, and spoons on it, but then I used it for some sort of like horror project that I was working on, and it now has all this dried fake blood. I mean, we'll say fake. It's oh, fake. that's so perfect for the day. Yeah, I know, it has all this fake blood all over it. Um, so now it's just been like hanging up in my kitchen. And I think when people come over to my kitchen, they're like, like freaked the F out. Is everyone okay? Oh, that's so cute. Other Leah actually wore this oh. when she was on the show. I'll, I'll keep the traditional yeah, ones. right? Oh, I only invite Leah's on the show. Leah's who wear aprons. That's cute. 
got stuff. That's stuff tiny. to it. Oh, fine. Right? It's so sweet. What a nice gift. Yeah. So here, Ruben is here. Hi, Ruben Avila. Hi. Ruben, you ha I haven't seen you in a while. What's up, Ruben? Welcome back. Um, Ruben or anybody else who's just tuning in, and today we're making chocolatey cupcakes with Bailey's Irish cream in them. Yes. And we have already mixed together our batter, and we I already lined one of these cupcake tins with my St. Patrick's Day liners, and we're gonna start scooping some batter. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, do you guys wanna see? Do you guys wanna see what it looks like? You're even so professional with the scooper, so I would never even think to do, I mean, make life easy and put it in a scooper. Well, it's always hard when you're pouring it in or using a spoon, like they all end up being different sizes, and I actually, this one I love because it has this little scraper on the inside. Hmm that will scrape the inside out. Cause I also have some scoops that it's just like a giant spoon that's the right size, but then you have to like push it out with your finger and it's gross. Yeah. Right? Right? So we're gonna scoop some. Amazing. I just have my pre-made size scoop. That's so good. Can you guys see? What if we did like, what if we did this one that's closest yeah. to the camera? Oh, uh, uh, they need to slow mo that. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I always edit these down to a shorter video so mm -hmm. you guys can see just the instructions. And then I will also have the written recipe on my website with links to all of that in the description section. Also in the description section. Section? Yeah. Also in the description section, there's links to my social media as well as Leah's Instagram and anything else that you might want me to include. Oh, yeah. And there's also my Patreon page. Yeah, guys. Which I think I have one patron who's my dad. They're uh, the best patrons. They're the yeah. best patrons. And if you guys want any, because on Patreon, you know, you have like a, Gifts or whatever for yeah. your patrons. What would you call them? Yeah, the patrons. Gifts? Yeah, they're, they're like a, I don't want to say rewards or, or yeah. yeah. Thank you. They're like um, showing your yeah gratitude, gratitude for support. And if there is anything that you guys want to see on there, Ooh, let me know because I kind of just made it up and yeah. I don't know if my my incentives are. are cool. It is hard enough. to know. And I know there's like strategies and stuff, but like sometimes it's like, that's a great idea just to ask and be like, what do you guys want? Yeah, what do you guys want from what me? Do you, what do you want to say? <laughs> I don't know. So you should be like, if you do a certain amount, I'll put your name on that wall back here. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. I even had like, if you do a certain amount, then I will make one of your requested recipes, oh, but nobody cool. went for that one. That's a great one, guys. Um, Ruben says, yeah, been a while. You seem to keep track of everybody in the chat. Well, I try. Because I think that's super cool about doing the live stream is that we can interact. Yeah. And I'm going to go put these in the oven. It's already preheated to 350 degrees. Amazing. They look so good. And we're going to bake these for 18 to 20 minutes. That looks not bad. Until a toothpick comes out clean. And then while I go do that, yes. you can go ahead and the scoop these other ones. Ooh, do you put them in this? Yes. Okay. In here. And I don't know if we have enough. Okay. Because oddly enough, there was like... 14 of these special ones. We'll get creative. Like, what a, random, what a random. Of 15. Number. What a random number. Like, what did I. Look at that. If not, I can always get plain ones if we don't have enough. So all I'll right. be right back. Let's see how good mine look. You made it look really easy. Here's the true test. Uh, which is so fun. Woo! I love cupcakes. Me too. I forgot how much I like them. It's like and I, I love chocolate. Then this is perfect. And Ruben Bailey's and cannabis. Says, I love interacting on here too. Oh, Yeah, right? We've got Bailey's. We've got cannabis. What else could we put in here? Oh, let me move this spatula for you. This does definitely help put these in. Right? It makes it so easy. Yeah. Life is so easy. Mm, I can't, I'm going to lick this later. <laughs> Like, hey. Are you a raw batter eater? I am a raw batter eater. I am. I, I'm a big uh, fan of uh, cookie dough batter. Yes. Too. Well, actually, last week I made edible cookie dough with my friend. It has no eggs. So fun. And I real didn't realize, I learned when I did research for the episode, mm -hmm. that you're not supposed to eat raw flour either. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody knows that. Right? Usually it's all about the eggs. You can get salmonella from the eggs. Sure. But the, Raw flour can also have a lot of 
nasty stuff like E. coli and really? bacteria. Right. I so know that. I just baked the flour for five minutes to kill all the nasty bugs. Should I get? Do you think we could just scrape one more out of here, or should we leave it as is? I'll probably get one more. Why waste it? Why waste it? You made all I the need to get. I need to get one more liner, or we could make little mini guys. Oh, thoughts? Do you have? You have more liners? I do have more liners of these size, generic. or I have little little mini ones. That's kind of fun. How many mini ones do you think we can make? I don't know. I'll go get a mini one. Let's I'll try the mini. Back. Let's be different, right? So Let's be different. Just a taste of a cupcake. Yeah, right? Especially if you're worried about, like, you know, how much cannabis is in it, how you'll be affected by it. It's maybe a good idea to have that option for some people. Yeah. What is your experience with cannabis edibles? So, I actually, uh, I never liked smoking. Mm -hmm. um, but when I have a lot of, uh, so I, I'm a runner. Yes. I just ran the LA Marathon. Oh, yeah. So I just did that. So it's it is interesting. This is now like a perfect time in my recovery of to eat cupcakes. Yeah, because I feel like now my body's come down from like the runner high. I've definitely had um, some things going on with my knees because of being a crazy person and running that distance. Yeah. Um, so I think now is definitely the time where you kind of find different ways to heal. Okay. And I think that's what's so great about you know I did my ice bath. I did my Theragun oh, yeah. massage. Theragun, I yep. this. And then, uh, so now it's very like Halloween because that's the, Friday the first 13th. thing that I brought. Yes. Perfect. Friday the 13th. Um, so yeah, so now it's like with the option of having edibles, I think it kind of gives you this sense of, of recovery and healing, which is nice. Oh, you got little ones. We got little ones. I have little scoops. So we could do, I just lined, I don't think we're going to make that many, so I only have four in here. Do you, are you usually pretty healthy because you're a runner? Like, do you eat healthfully most of the time? I do, but I have a huge sweet tooth. Yeah? Me it's too. out of control. Me too. I have, I definitely have a, um, anything that's sweet and stuff like that, I'm all over it. <laughs> so, this is right up my alley. Right? This is why we get along. <laughs> Let's what about Johnny? He's pretty healthy, right? He's pretty healthy as well. Yeah, we do a good job trying to stay healthy together and encouraging that. Oh, that's um, so nice. Yeah, you might be able we're to get to we're that. the opposite. Oh, really? Yeah, we're the exact opposite. Oh, that. you can taste. That's good. How does it taste? It tastes really good. It's very mild. Uh, the Bailey's? cannabis, because you can taste a little bit, but the all the other flavors like the Bailey's and the mm -hmm. chocolate are definitely coming out. Ooh, I totally forgot to set the timer. I just realized. So it's what been like. It's been like. Three like, minutes. Yeah. It's great. <gasps> okay, mm -hmm. so we have our minis and we have some in the oven already. And I will be right back so I can set that timer. Amazing. Oh, what are these people saying on the chat? Let's see. Oh, wine. There's just uh, emojis of wine, which I like. Um, I love interacting with you on here too, says Ruben. That's so sweet. Um, <laughs> Some Steely Dan music would go okay with the cannabis and Bailey's. That's very okay. true. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what Mike said. We are going to make the frosting while the cupcakes are baking. Oh, I didn't Actually, think about the frosting. Really? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's all about the frosting. And usually we would wait for the cupcakes to cool completely before okay. we eat them. But I realized on the show, because we're always impatient and we want to eat it on camera, mm -hmm. that a warm cupcake with frosting is bomb. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Even uh, though the frosting can... melts, starts to melt sure. on it, but it's so good because it's warm. It reminds me of like so uh, those Pillsbury cinnamon rolls. I used to make them in like in, on like Sunday mornings or something. And you always put the frosting on when they were hot. Yeah. So it's like, and it's so, it's so thing. good. Like we're missing out this whole warm cake and frosting thing. So I'm going to take these guys and wash them so okay. we can use them to make the frosting. Amazing. And then you can bring, that's our frosting okay. stuff, you can bring it over to, bring it. to the middle here. I'm going to pretend like I know what I'm talking about. This looks like flour. Is it? Powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that would be weird in a frosting. That might be a little weird. But it looks like flour, guys, okay? Uh, this is butter that is not melted. We got uh, pure sea salt. We got what looks like more Baileys. Delish. Yeah. We got uh, food dye, which I'm assuming is green. Green. 
green. Feel yeah. pretty good about that. Wait, is it blue or is it green? Uh, it looks green. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Wait, did I grab the wrong one? Uh, and then we have uh, lovely sprinkles. Cause... Yeah, just in case we wanted to decorate. Okay. I mean, mm -hmm. we gotta make it green. Oh, and then this is the uh, That's our piping bag. So we could use a spatula to frost them, but I also, yeah. like, piping bags make it much faster and easier, and uh, I'll show you how to use it. Do you reuse these? Mm -hmm. oh, these cool. are, you can get disposable ones, but mm -hmm. this one is washable. Really? Yeah, it doesn't last forever. Eventually it starts to sure. kind of like break down, but. How cool though. Ruben says we both look beautiful. Thank, Thank you, you, Ruben. Uh, everybody's so sweet. So nice. You have very nice right? people. Right? I have very nice people. It's Every great. once, I'm just gonna throw that up. Yeah. Every once in a while, there will be like a, an, offhand comment that is unpleasant sure. but for the most part everyone's super nice That's and i so love nice. you guys well i'm happy to be here yeah, with right? all those lovely people thank you guys for being awesome uh can oh can you also grab that bowl yes the most important thing <laughs> so i think that leah totally gave you the rundown of all the ingredients but just in case yeah. i think this is three cups Okay. I think, yes, I didn't do the measurement. Right. So. This is three cups of powdered sugar. Oh, should we? Should we insert? Yes. We have three cups of powdered mm. sugar. We have one cup of unsalted butter, softened. We have three tablespoons. Oh, that's out of frame. Three tablespoons of Bailey's, more Bailey's, and then we're also gonna we're gonna add a little dash of salt, like an eighth of a teaspoon, just to offset the sweetness. And then yes, we have some green food coloring and some green sprinkles that we don't, you don't have to use, but yeah, why not? Why the heck not? Because they're festive cupcakes, yes. guys. Let's not forget that. So we're just going to start, go, and go. Whoa. <laughs> Amazing. So what's the reason for not melting this butter and melting the other butter? So I like to melt, when I'm making batters, I like to melt the butter with the cannabis, the cannabis. butter because okay. it makes it easier to sure. mix them evenly. And then on, I'll usually try to let it cool. I don't want to mix hot butter in there or I'll put it back in the fridge to kind of let it harden. Um, but because we want our frosting to be fluffy, then you want the butter to be solid. Got it. If the butter was melted, then we would have... I would have no idea about Melty that. frosting. I'm just trying to scrape the rest of this in here. Okay, do you want to be the mixer or do you want to be the adder? I want to be the adder this the time. The adder this time. So I'm going to go ahead and start mixing up the butter. We want it to be nice and fluffy because we want fluffy frosting. It's also all over my hand. <laughs> you have that urge like, do I, do you like butter? I like butter. I do. That was just like, yeah. that didn't really do anything for me. But I have had people on this show that talk about how they love to eat butter. Ooh. But I guess if you're like buttering toast or buttering yeah, a roll, different though. but it's different because you're it's eating not just it with eating, yeah a chunk of butter, right? That was I just ate butter by itself. That's impressive. So I kind of fluffed fluffed up the butter a little bit here, and then can you yes. slowly add the powdered sugar? Of sure, course. We're gonna add it slowly because if you add it all at once, then it kind of blows up in the air at your face, and it is like that for now. very unpleasant. Yeah, that's perfect. So we're just gonna add it gradually, kind of like how we added the uh, dry ingredients before. It makes it so much easier to have a cooking buddy. Oh yeah. Than to do it by sure. yourself. And to have someone put out the ingredients for you. <laughs> <laughs> it does. I usually when I'm baking on my own, uh, like not for the show, I'll mix the ingredients one at a time. But it is funny how putting them all out ahead of time makes it so much faster. So much in the yeah. end. Yeah, it is interesting. I think because you're just able to do it all yeah. right away. You're not even thinking about cleanup at that point too. Right. So. But a lot of times I'm like, uh, it's too much work, too much effort. Well, it's nice. You have the whole beautiful presentation with it all. We've got a lot of butter that's stuck in our... I'm just trying to oh, clean nice. the...
we back on? Can you hear us now? Can you hear us? Yeah, I'll tell you my grandma. Can you tell me now? I know. Um, this reminds me, I don't know if you remember when we were kids, Heinz came out with colored ketchup. Yes. Gross. And we bought oh. the green one, and it tastes like ketchup, but it just it was so looked wrong. so gross. Oh, that's and like, do you get the McFlurries at, um, the, what do they call the St. Patty's Day ones at the McDonald's? I know, I've never had one. It's the Shamrock Shakes. The Shamrock Shakes. Shamrock Shakes. I've never had one. I've never had one. For our sweet tooth, I'm sure. I actually thought about making, like, a Shamrock Shake kind of thing also. Oh, interesting. Right? No, this is the way to go. This is the way to go. How are you feeling about the color? I don't think this is green you enough. You don't think it's green yet. Look, look how not green this is, right? That's too. It's this organic food coloring. It doesn't cut it. Oh, Mike Finney can hear us now. Perfect. You know, I try to buy things organic when I can, but sometimes it just doesn't. I know. And you're like, feel bad. Doesn't like, cut it. I want neon green I frosting. Want really aggressive <laughs> green. <laughs> but yeah, that. I remember my dad ate that green the ketchup because he was the only one that would eat it, and he ate it for yeah. like the whole of year. Course. Because how, how, how much yeah. ketchup are you really? That's so funny. This is looking more green. This is pretty good. What do you? You want a little more? I want a little more. Yeah, I do. Really I do. Good. I want green, green, green. Yeah, just go for it. We have nice fluffy so frosting. I wonder how much time we have left on the timer. I feel like they should be done soon. This is looking this good. Is good. I am looking at this though, and I'm like, is this gonna be enough frosting? Am I making enough? Well, you know. Put it you on might as well just go all in. We'll put just it go on all in. We'll put it on the ones we uh, we we eat, right? Ooh, oh okay. yeah. Okay, so <laughs> we put uh, like the entire <laughs> bottle of our green food coloring, Ooh. and now we've got a nice. It looks so good. A nice green in here. I didn't know I could be so happy with frosting. Right? And isn't it weird that like frosting can be green? This is okay, I would yeah, eat but this. The, the ketchup. But the ketchup was not line. good. Okay. So we're pretty mixed in. I'm gonna use, oh, I'm gonna grab another spatula so I can scrape the sides of the bowl. Okay. And I'm gonna check on and see what those cupcakes are doing. Amazing. This looks and so nice. Leave you here by yourself again. <laughs> with the frosting. Big mistake. <laughs> Huge. Oh, how cool. Oh, these are looking so good. I'm gonna yeah. test them with a toothpick. Oh, gosh. I'm so excited. I don't remember the last time. I think I used to, I used to make cupcakes when I was little, but then at some point it stopped. I don't know why. Yeah. I think I really committed to the cookie love. Here's a, here's oh. a spatula. You want to scrape the side. Amazing. Yeah, and then... Oh, nice. This is a good lunch. This is very healthy. It, you know, it's got protein and... Oh, this is perfect. Oh, I'm so excited. Are those mini ones in there, too? No, I'm doing them at a time because when you put them on the other rack, they don't look good. Got it. We're doing the little ones later. No, they're not ready yet. Oh, they're not? Still gooey? Mm-hmm. At what point is, is the goo bad? Yeah, like, you know, like, sometimes I feel like with cookies, because they always, like, continue to cook a little bit. Oh, like, yeah. do, are cupcakes the same way, where, like, when you take them out, they continue to cook a little a bit little in them? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not aggressive. Not aggressively. And it's like, a cookie can be, do I look like a country bumpkin? With yeah, oh my gosh. You've changed your whole persona. How are y'all? That, that one toothpick. How are y'all doing? <laughs> she does not belong in. Oh, hello, friend. Um... Yeah, I feel like a gooey cookie is okay, but yeah. like a gooey, gooey cupcake, cupcake is, yeah. is weird. It's, like a little... it's a little weird. Look at this great frosting. Is it green enough? What do y'all think? Sure. <laughs> it looks good. And then I'm going to show you how to use this piping bag. Fun. And then the sprinkles on top will add it even. Extra green. Yeah. Right? It oh, it's Bless you. you. Do you have coronavirus? Oh, no. I think they came out and said that dogs can't catch coronavirus. Perfect. So, so you're fine. You're okay. Or not. But I think that maybe he can still be a carrier. Oh, interesting. I don't know. We need Wouldn't to that be the be thing? Dogs, dogs are the ones dogs that are, the ones that are, the ones that are infecting us take now. Us. So, have you ever used a piping bag before? I'm going to make no, you pipe some. I have not. So here's our bag. It just looks like a triangular bag. And then it also comes with, this is the tip that I have. It's a it's a giant tip. Oh, maybe I'll show you guys in the insert here. 
It's a big tip because it makes big, big frosting. I know. <laughs> and it also comes with this little screw, two pieces. This is sometimes about the live stream. I'm like, sometimes I don't <laughs> speak words that are real English. But they and, get it. And you guys get it. Get it. Like when I when I was doing the videos before, I used to do recipe videos where I would film like the recipe and then I'd film myself speaking through the, through the steps. Okay. And then I would cut it together into just the instructions mm -hmm. and like the outtakes of me just like speaking gibberish <laughs> are ridiculous. And I'm like, I, you need just a blooper like, reel of that. I would post them on my Patreon actually. So do you have other? Um, ends of this that kind of have decorative designs on so them? So I do get smaller ones, not for a big bag. Got it. Um, but for cupcakes, I like to use the big... More. <laughs> that would have been amazing. I still would have eaten them. She almost right, dumped the I'm entire... Roll. It would have been fine. It's fine. Can you imagine how fast the dog would have come oh, in? Oh yeah. There? Would have been so happy. I, uh, Lauren almost dropped the, the cupcakes, oh, but it was yeah. super graceful. She did not drop them. <laughs> so they've been in for probably like 18 minutes. Okay. Whenever I forgot to set the timer. They've been in uh, about 18 minutes, but we didn't set the timer in the beginning because it's all going to work out for us. I what, like four minutes? Now I was going to say three. Three? Okay. So what did I say? 18 to 22 minutes? Uh, yes, you said 18 to 22. I, I just started now for another two. Pack. Oh, she got another <laughs> one, guys. Uh, I just started screwing them in. Oh, and yeah. I realized I didn't. Know. No, this is exactly what you do. So she inserted the metal tip, which, if you <laughs> sounds kind of like a gynecologist. Yeah. Insert. Um, if you don't have one of these reusable bags, you can use like a Ziploc bag and okay. cut the corner off. Sure. And you don't even have to use these tips. You can just use the open corner to Perfect. take stuff out if you wanted to. Excuse me. You just burped. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi. Did you get tired of the boys upstairs? Yes. And so then I'm going to, this one screws on the outside, and then I'm going to put this one on the inside. Cool. I don't know if you guys really can see or understand what's happening. Are you new to this device? Or have you no. all, did you grow up using this? I didn't grow up using this. I actually, my mom bought me these because I think there's a bakery called Georgetown Cupcakes. Mm that became very, very popular for a while, and they frost their cupcakes with this tip and like a big okay. frosting swirl Yeah. Um, that my mom thought was so cool, and so she bought us these. Aw, right? way to go, Mom. There's also like the Sprinkles Cupcakes. If yeah. you guys have heard of Sprinkles Cupcakes, they do kind of like a flat, flat swirl right. with a spatula. I mean, it really is whatever floats your boat. Yeah, you get, it's kind of cool because you can get creative with them. Yeah, too. yeah. Um, so we have our piping bag, and then would you like to hold it and I'll scoop or vice versa? I'll hold it. Okay, so I've kind of made it inside I'll, out, I'll and then it. we're going to put it just over this. Okay. I don't think it'll come out the bottom, but just in case. You never know. And then this is also really, really good for a helper because when you do this by yourself, it's very difficult. Very challenging. Um, but we're like just going to scoop it inside. Excuse me. Sometimes I'll put it over like a cup, but it's not big enough. Or, right. You know. And I'm trying not to get too much on these sides because then it'll make it all messy. He loves, loves, loves butter. I don't know what it is about it. But whenever I have butter like on the counter, he'll try to lick the, like, the cabinet because he thinks that he can taste the butter. He's got good taste. You like butter. All right. We've got frosting in here and then we're still waiting for our cupcakes and then what we will do is that we kind of twist it up okay. and then push some of that frosting down and then you twist it up like this mm -hmm. and then you can hold the twisted end and then you have go from there you have frosting there's right. something like very soothing about when you watch All people right. frost so here's things my little you see the frosting coming out? Yeah. I don't want to use it quite yet. We're still moments away for the cupcakes. Make sure that doesn't I'll make sure it fall. fall over. I'm going to clear some space. How exciting. Oh, they smell so good. It's, it's so nice to have some sort of device to help you with the frosting. Because I always feel like I'd, I'll just put it on with like a spoon or yeah. something. And I'm like, eh, I'm eating it anyways. It's fine. But it's, 
But if it's a, what do you need? Oh, your pomades. Um, but it's like, you know, if you're making something for like someone's birthday or some sort of, you know, celebration or something, it's yeah. nice to be able to make it look pretty. professional. Yeah. Just gluttonous really monsters, yes. I'd be fine with that. I think most people would be fine with that too. No but really? Mm -hmm. hmm. I'm just going no, you just want to look like a cool. Yeah, I Got it. We need a couple more minutes on the cupcakes. Um, I'm excited. Have you ever made like a cupcake that's filled with something? I have! I actually thought about doing one of those. I don't know, she's bad. I don't know why, what makes me feel so cool about doing <laughs> it. Um, I have a cupcake corer. Corer, okay. It's a, it's a cupcake corer, and it takes the core out of the cupcake. It's like a little sure. cylinder. Do you do that so you make the cupcake mm -hmm. and then you put you the make cylinder the cupcake, in? You put the cylinder in and like dig out the inside, then you fill it up, and then you can stick the top that you dug out, like back on. Oh, cool. And then yeah. frost it, or you can leave it open, I oh, guess, cool. if you want to do. Interesting. Right? I thought about doing, like, we could fill it with, like, chocolate ganache or something like that. But then sometimes I don't like to be super, super eager on these live streams because yeah. something can go wrong or, you know. Sure. And also, too, there's so many different layers to this already with like, yeah, the layers right? and the cannabis that mm -hmm. I think it's, I'm more than happy with that. And sometimes yeah. I don't like when, I don't like when like a big, like I'm biting something mm -hmm. and I don't know it's been filled with something and you're like, oh. Surprise! I'm like, okay. Oh, I can taste the Baileys. Can you? I actually quite enjoy that. Just like a little mm. teeny hint yeah, of it. Yeah, Yeah, right? That's pretty good. Mm. I'm super stoked. You're going to be really good. I'm going to eat like five cupcakes. He's going to be really good. <laughs> and we have the mini ones. And all we the have mini ones. ones, right? So when one big one is not enough, we can just eat little ones. Why do they need to slam the door? They're rude. Why do they need to slam the Our door? Our boyfriends just slam the door. They just come bustling through here, Talking. rearranging they my lights. They know we're filming. I know. That's just how weird. rude. Rude. What a weird Try it. They know we're filming. They're they loud. They just don't they care. And they slam the door. They just don't care. Little weirdos. Little Anyways, weirdos. they're just jealous that they don't get any cupcakes. Uh, well, they're like, not going to get cupcakes. Does Johnny eat cupcakes? Oh, yeah. He, he, it's his cheat day today. Oh, okay. Yeah, Perfect. He, he, he planned it well. Good. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, so he sent Derek, like, the meal plan thing that he Yeah, did. the macro plan. We yeah, do. How's that going? Me and my boyfriend, we do, um, like, uh. The, you can put it, you brought them over that way, I thought. Um, we uh, we do this um, service that brings food what meals to us. That? I thought you brought them over that way. Did I? I thought you did. I think I oh my god, they're right in front of me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, so we do this meal plan. They bring it to your uh, house every morning, and it's actually cheaper. It was cheaper for me than buying my own groceries. Because people uh, always are like, What kind oh. of groceries are you buying? Well, this is when I was doing like my high protein. Okay, yeah, so yeah. I was buying like... Lots of chicken, lots of fish, lots of veggies for like three meals a day ish. Um, and uh, and you know, fish and that produce gets expensive. Can get. Guys, um, this is still not, this is we'll still put it back in for longer. So, anyways, we did this. It's this company. It. It's called Macro Plate. So for um, I get two meals a day, Monday through Friday. You can do more if you want, but that's all that I want. Okay. Uh, it's a uh, one one thirty for the week. Um, but it keeps you accountable for, uh, you know, what you're intaking. And then on the other days, you get to binge on cookies. Guys, if you click the code at the bottom of the screen, you can get 50% off your first order. You can't. You I'm can't. just kidding. We don't have, we don't have Yeah, we're not sponsored no, by anyone. No, but you can make these cupcakes and eat them. You could also do that. You could do That's that. That's the better way to do it. So you're going to keep using it even though you're not... Training for the marathon anymore? Yeah, I did yeah, that. Yeah, I did that with weight. Though. That's when we were doing like the weight training thing. Oh, okay. So we were doing. We had to like eat a certain, very restricted yeah. weight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then it just kind of became this convenience type of a thing. So right. now we're like used to it and we like it. It good meals. They taste like good. That. They taste good. Yeah. There's definitely ones Are that you I sit full. Definitely full. Okay. Yeah. It's amazing how much you can eat calorically when it's the right very things, true. opposed to like one cupcake. Which I'm fine with. I do not yeah. care. You know, and we're I mean? over here like making pizza. 
But I made the crust from scratch. Did you? So. Did you have you done the cauliflower pizza? I have tried that. I've tried cauliflower pizza crust. I've tried carrot pizza crust. Oh, interesting. Yeah. What well, did you find a success with those? Because I feel like they'd be so. They're they're a little. Uh, the texture is a little difficult to work with. Mm. You have to get a lot of the moisture out. So like trying to squeeze the moisture and like using paper towels to pat it down and it still was like too moist. But I like the taste of it because it's actually a little bit sweet. Okay. Um, I actually love cauliflower. I love cauliflower I love too. It's cauliflower. great. Have you had cauliflower, cauliflower rice? Yes. That was like a, when we were like really restrictive. Okay. That was like a lifesaver. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can make big ass piles of, of cauliflower rice. Yeah. You put like turmeric and like garlic powder mm -hmm. and it was like, it. you feel full. Yeah. You know, it was really, really nice. I just love uh, roasted cauliflower, mashed mm -hmm. cauliflower. Like heirloom cauliflower. Oh, you're getting fancy. Oh yeah. So fancy. And then now, yeah, we, uh, I was, I had the Caesar salad the other day that had like shavings of cauliflower on it. Oh, interesting. That's like an extra crunch. Huh. Anyways, now we need to make cannabis cauliflower. All right. Okay. Hopefully the cupcakes are done. I think they've been in there for like 25 minutes by now. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Let's not forget that. I got it. I got it. That's so fun. <laughs> Let's see. They probably also have them in cooking because I keep opening the oven. It's okay. They'll be ready when they're ready. That's the thing about baking. You can't rush it. You can't rush it. They're still like a little moist and crumbly, but I feel like what if we just ate them anyway? I think that's fine. Maybe it's just maybe it's just from the Baileys. Would that be like a factor? That's silly, right? Um, no, it could be a factor, but the, the they're not there's not too much moisture in the batter. Okay. I think it's because I keep opening the oven like every minute. Sure. <laughs> but the temperature is not happy to see. Okay, I'm gonna put these both in. Okay. The little ones. Putting the little guys in and the other ones in. I'm excited. Uh, oh my gosh, this is a manager special frosting, okay. guys. How do I, what did I Only do? 129. How exciting! Now oh, they're coming back in. I messed up the timer. I don't know what, how to fix it. Do you want to just do it on like a phone? Well, now the oven's not. Got it. The timer's going crazy. If you guys could not slam the door while we're filming, I would appreciate it. Why are you putting down the oven mitts? They're in, in, once in your car. once in your hand. I hear they're trying to get you now. just out of the oven. Um, we're just gonna frost two of them so we can eat them, but I'm gonna tell you that the frosting is gonna melt like immediately. Really? Okay. Yeah, because they're so hot. I'm gonna get a plate. Okay, great. Gonna get a plate, then we're gonna eat kind of pinks. No, it was a large Oh. Um, here's just a little plate, and then... We were just looking at the downstairs. Guys, look at these. Oh, they're so cute. Nice and chocolatey and delicious. Okay. And then here is our two cupcakes that we're working with. And I'm just gonna give us a little swirl of frosting so we can taste test. What the heck is happening with the? I don't understand why you don't let Leah try the first one. Oh, I don't. Do you wanna? She gave. She told I gave, me I she told her to do it. it. No, you should try it. Let her do it. You wanna do yours? Okay. Okay. The you kind of just do gentle out. pressure and do a little swirl. Gentle pressure, a little swirl. There you go. They're just gonna. It's, <laughs> I know, it's just sliding off because they're so hot. Hey, that's so nice. Look at that. Oh, so I know. Okay, they're melting. They're melting. Oh, yes, green sprinkles, green sprinkles. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh. Yeah, you guys want some? They're it's fresh not, out of the it's oven. Not, it's cheat day. I heard. It's my cheat life. Yep. <laughs> I was. We were talking about your like oh, no. macronutrients <laughs> and maybe we'll have to eat these with a fork. Um, and like how we were just eating pizza for dinner, you know. Do you guys want to come in try some? Yeah, oh, you want it after? He has to be paid to be the on camera. Oh. oh. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> 
Fun. I mean, it's so melty. Be careful. It's, so it's like all over the place. Oh, oh. This is why you wait until wait. cupcakes cool completely. But we decided we didn't want to. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. That's so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's so good. That's mm. delicious. Like the Baileys. Right? See what I'm talking about with the hot cupcake and the frosting? It works so well. I know it doesn't look as, like, glamorous. It's definitely not, yeah. It's way worth it. Tastes way better. Uh-huh. Mmm. Oh, yeah. You don't need to zoom in on our faces that it's much. It's fine. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That was so good. Loving this. Mmm. They're steaming. I know, they're still steaming. Do you want one, Derek? Fazzy <laughs> <laughs> one's one. Hey, look, Kara's mm. back. Oh, Kara! Hi, Kara! It's been such a long time. Welcome back. Oh, I'm looking at this camera. Kara, welcome back. It's been a while. Guys, if you're just tuning in, we made chocolate Bailey's cupcakes with Bailey's Irish cream in them, and we made so frosting with Bailey's in it, and they're delicious. They're We're so eating good. them now. They're still hot, so our frosting is melting, melting. everywhere. But... So, so, so good. good. They're so good. We don't even have words. We're just oh my good. gosh, thank you for sharing this with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now what you do? Just keep eating them all day long? Yeah. Nice. I send you home with a bunch of them. Ugh. And then, yeah, we eat them all week long. I give so it to good. the neighbors. Ah. Oh, frosting down. I'm like licking the frosting off. Crazy. Frosting is good. It's so good. Mm. <laughs> it's like ASMR cupcake eating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If I could make a living out of doing ASMR cupcake, cupcake, cupcake eating, eating videos, that would be the life. That would be the life! The thing is, is that can be your life. That like, that could be. I don't know if you want that to be your life, right? but that's always on the table. I do love, oh Hank Hill! Yo Hank Hill! Um, I forget which camera I'm looking at. Yo Hank Hill, welcome! It's been a while to see you Hank Hill! Mm. But I was gonna say that, so I still babysit this one girl every once in a while. She's probably like 10 now. I don't know exactly how old she is. <laughs> Samantha, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. Um, I you look. I hope we're not, right? <laughs> Well, I've been babysitting for her since she was five, so okay. I like yeah forget. She's timeless. She's timeless. Um, but one time we were, it was after school. She was eating her after school snack, and she usually watches YouTube videos while she's eating her snack. And she was watching um, ASMR ice eating oh, videos. Oh yeah, Oof, that one's cringy. And it was just like these girls, and they would make ice cubes with like liquid inside, so then they would bite it, and the liquid would go all over them. And they'd be like, yeah. and I was like, this is so. And she's eating that while, or she's watching that while, like, eating her yeah. after school snack. And she's like, oh, you it's so relaxing. Anything. But I'm oh, like, that's, that's not why they made this video. To me, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> You're like, what are you watching? This is weird. The, the funny thing is that that's such a, like, a cringy noise for me that, like, anytime like, people step on snow yeah. and ice like that, I'm always like, oh. You should uh, pitch Leo in your other show, concert that you want, you want to shoot. Oh. Wait, wait, wait till you're off camera. Wait till I'm off camera. <laughs> <laughs> See if Leah wants in on it. Okay. okay. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll be fun. Do you guys want one? You can eat it off camera. <laughs> he doesn't even want his voice on camera because that's 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 the money maker is his voice. <laughs> his face oh, is that like... Lucio? Is that Lucio? <laughs> <laughs> I got me scared. I'm like, I don't give a fuck anymore. Yeah, I don't think he ever did. I made a mess. Oh, you're still. I, that's why I put the towel out. <laughs> I knew. Thank you for doing that. I knew. Um, you're eating. You're, you're like enjoying. Oh, look! Now we're on the TV. They, I don't want them to hear the echoing. Echo, echo. This is fun. Yeah, you're still enjoying yours. I just devoured mine. Mm -hmm. Right? These were delicious, guys. They're still a little warm, so I can't frost them for you. So how how much, um, it's, you said roughly five? Uh, yeah, pretty mild. Right, right, Derek? What'd you think? 
I don't know, she made me have a panic attack at the last one. Well, those ones were extra strong. Other Leah came on and she huh? wanted them extra strong, and so I made them double the strength. And then Derek had a panic attack. I had like legit, I was like, what the I fuck was like, I felt fine. All the differences in Leah's. Yeah. Right? I'm Leah like, was like, I want it strong, and then she ate one here, and then she drove to work, and then ate one before oh, she went to shit. work. Yeah. And she, 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 had, but she also didn't like really mix it in that well, so there's a potential that like some of them were stronger than others. Okay. It was frozen. We were talking about that. Yeah. Like, what we happens if you get... We mixed it in really well this okay. time. I was like, it's funny, like, you get, like, the one. I like, think that oh, fuck. Derek has also had a bad experience with edibles before, so I think he's prone to getting... Yeah, like, hardcore hallucination. Yeah. See, body. I always have... I have a bad time with smoking, usually. One for the feeling. I don't... It hurts my throat, uh, and I had... <laughs> corona. Is it bad? Is it bad? <laughs> <laughs> You just had a little frosting on your chin. No <laughs> As I should. I'm happy with that. Okay, you want one? You want one? Okay. Do you want to frost yours at own or do you want me to frost it? I want you to frost it. Okay. Aww. Do you have a paper towel? No. Cool. I'm going to go wipe it on anything I see. Yeah, go get well, it. Go frost it with it. No, I don't go on camera. He goes on camera sometimes. <laughs> Choo -choo. Oh, we got our camera operator. Moving it around. Can you guys see? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to show him eating it? Nope. No? Oh. You don't get the same treatment? So what's been, Only if Lucy gets on here. What's been your favorite? Lucy's not here. <laughs> Who? What? What are you talking about? Um, what's been your favorite thing to make so far? Ooh, that's a tough question. I feel like we made a lot of really fun and delicious things on the channel. Uh, one of my favorite things that I've made was caramel popcorn balls. Just oh, because I, I love one. caramel popcorn. That's one of my favorite things to eat. So good. And uh, I saw you did uh, you did those like coconut uh, ball. Yes, uh, coconut really ledoux. Cool. Ledoux. I don't right. know if I'm pronouncing it right. People were commenting that I wasn't. It's um um, but yeah, we made a, we decided to make an Indian sweet because the friend that I had on my episode that week. He has his own YouTube channel with a big Indian following, so oh, that's great. we thought it would be fun to do something like that. Yeah. I love coconut. I coconut love coconut delicious. too, yeah. That was yeah. Uh, that one was fun to watch because I was like, those are something that, I like those kind of like bite-sized things that you yeah. can eat, especially yeah. if you're doing cannabis-related stuff too. Right? It's nice we to... have little mini cupcakes. We do have mini cupcakes. That I should probably check on, but yeah. no, I mean, oh, other than that, yeah, yeah you want to hang? One? Mm -hmm. Yeah, are they, happy St. Patrick's Day, my Finney! They think they're still a little warm, a little so we're warm. still going to be Should I wait? How was your thing? How was it? It was good. Yeah? I gave two tomatoes. Two oh. tomatoes? I'm having tomatoes. He's just joking. I had a one. We were watching. <laughs> we were watching the... Pretty good. The, the, to all the boys I've loved before. All the boys I've loved before. Good. I, I, I said I gave it two tomatoes. Uh, I was a little high. Sure. And, uh, you know, I, was, I, mean, I, I, I didn't know what the scale was of the rotten tomatoes. Yeah, so that should be taken away. Hundred percent. I give it two tomatoes. Got it. But in your head, what was it out of? Uh, out of hundred. <laughs> oh, got it. Okay. It wasn't that bad. That was alright. <laughs> two tomatoes. Um, well, I think we can wrap yeah. it up. That's great. This was great. Right? So we can show um, them behind the scenes here. Yeah. Are you showing them behind the scenes? No. Oh. Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. We made. Chocolate Bailey's Irish Cream Cupcakes. Mm. This is unfrosted, but I'm going to hold it up for you anyway. Oh, here we go. Beautiful. Frosted. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. We made chocolate Bailey's Irish Cream Cupcakes with green frosting for St. Patrick's Day. And I had my friend Leah come on and join me. Thank you so much, Leah. Yeah, thank you for having me. Oh, yeah. And uh, if you want to check out our social media, there's links in the comments. Not the comments. There's links in the description section below, as well I'll, as I'll my Patreon. Yeah. yeah, thank you. I'll put it in thank the comments. Thank you. I'll comment yeah. in, the, in the comments. <laughs> um, guys, don't forget to like this video and comment and subscribe and all of those awesome things. And thanks again for watching. Yeah. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye. This was fun. Yeah. See, now we're still live, but I have to come over here. Oh, wait. Oh, fade to black. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But they can they still, still hear, hear us. us.